hello youtube welcome back to my channel this is director kim and today i'm at home i'm not in the studio and actually it's not like i'm outside of a studio i can't do doing tutorial no i can deliver a good thing to you anytime that i feel it is the right time for me to give you anywhere that i feel that is the right way to give you so yeah okay today we have uh, this video which is i've got a video from a group and i've down color grade but i saw a lot of people post the video and actually is popping most of people love the color it's like a cinematic movie with with a very darkish like um i don't want to explain too much we go see the video so yeah i'm about to okay i was like okay let me do a tutorial quick tutorial for you guys to give you uh how, what i've done to this video how how the progress is like color grade the whole video so now we are in davinci resolve and i really want to show you how i did a color grading exactly so let me not wasting my time what i'm about to do because i've done color grading inside of color management and i don't want to do so so what i'm going to do i'm going to first let me go to my my timeline here is aleation i used aleation into this picture and yeah i'm going to clean everything i reset everything as you can see our picture is it look rec 709 don't worry about it i'm going to switch it off this was short on, this was short short on sony it's log 3 but i found this video from a group level up group the group that we discuss about color so yeah here is the full video uh the full uh, color grading because it was a uh, short i think it was like a trailer or something i'm going to post it uh, i'm going to play it uh, uh, after this tutorial so you're going to see the whole color grading the way it it looks so now i'm about to show you this process that i've done this color grading so the first thing that i'm done is i did a color management interior convert to the slog 3 to davinci white gamut and blah 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 but for now i'm about to i'm about to switch this off so i can just only use the normal color space that you I can understand easily so you see now our picture is back into the flood if I go I go into another another stuff as you can see they look so flat okay now I'm uh, what I'm about to do is coming and make a two node which is my additive you guys understand about it which is my rdt and my rdt node and then what i'm about to do is doing my color space transformation just like this and come here also do my color space transformation just like this this is going to be our input s log s log 3 cine s log 3 just like this and then i'm going to convert it to arirexa i feel arirexa is very nice for me and i practice more often i found out it's very 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 beautiful so i'm jump on arirexa white gamut and yeah because we already changed the color space arirexa i think this one's good, Rex 709 and then Gamma 2.4. The reason why I'm using Gamma 2.4 because I don't want a very super constructed picture. You see exactly this color space transformation, it looks the same as the color that we we just saw before uh reset the color management to the setting. So 
another thing that i want to do is i want to use film codec because this one was um this 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 one is is just uh commercial it it is it, not like it is shown in commercial but it look commercial everything look neutral so to me i feel like i want cinematic i can push it cinematic without using any film look but film look it can guide you to 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 get cinematic look without pushing more further because the way you pushing too much the way you're using too much your tools is where you're running a picture and and that is not what i want so that's why we're using loot to give us the starting point and uh, i think you understand what i'm talking about now so i'm going to choose the look from davinci resolve maybe this one you see now the pictures different but one thing that i realized is very constructive so we have to be aware of this so i'm going to do i'm going to play around with my contrast so i don't want very 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 contrasted picture i'm going to push it up and bring it uh, down a little bit somewhere around here and this is custom cave or sometimes sometimes i can i can just not be aware with this i can make an imperial node like this and then i can do this and come here make a serial nodes i feel like i love this node tree this one is going to be our this uh, exposure so i'm going to take it down my shadow i want to take it down highlights not too much then i'm going to bring down my object because i want i really want some not the the color that is very blind i want super darkish picture a moody picture you see here is our contrast i can come here and edit table split plain lines i think so we can do our leisure somewhere around there and then i can come here and control my white balance so i'll push i think the white balance is good but i can push it into right side to get a greenish orange and tea greenish that stuff to take off the magenta you see that before we got the magenta color you see the magenta the things was looking magenta so i, I was like okay let me take that magenta and here i can select the skin so i'm going to qualify the skin tone because I'm inside of color space, that's why it's selecting everything. Because the picture is super flawed. And this is why I like more often using DaVinci color management more than color space transformation. Because whenever I want to do qualifier, it's just selecting everything. Like, okay, I don't get the specific stuff that I want. But don't worry about it okay now we push it down our gamma and our blue channel and green channel to get that skin tone and then I'm going to desaturate and here we get a very chocolate skin and we very pushed it it's very pushed it. okay now we go there but before our skin tone i would like to do something like okay let me do outside nodes and here outside nodes is come here and click this to affect all the background and coming to the the wheel and push it to the 
green position like this to make a nice separation just like the green pots and this one to this side to make it the look without effect the skin tone and this is what I want to do and then I'm going to reduce the intensity I don't want it to affect too much just like this I think I think this one look good uh, if we want to do HSV saturation is good but to me I feel like okay I don't need HSV saturation in here okay maybe what I can do is coming and push my lift again and my mid tone again because I, I, I want that greenish a very greenish and keep on reducing this thing because we really want very slightly changes so after that I can do window to solo this I don't want the highlights coming up. so I'm going to solo this guy like this and check it and I'm going to pop him because I want I want him to be pop like just like that and also for the feather adjustments I can do a not before oddity and coming to into this price to get the pin print look like the warm tone a bit just like this to give that warm thing to the picture the picture is very it's very 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 darkish and it's very moody you see I'm about the picture is around 7 ish 200 years about below there so if you see the pictures super darkish you can come make another curve and less the curve and tell like this to protect your shadow but to me I feel like I want that darkish to make the picture you see we got a bit washed out to the to the shadow so that we protect our shadow not to crush but me I want star super blackish so I go leave it like that I go leave it like that trust me so another thing is the aeration and other effects it just make a picture more beautiful and this is what exactly I've turned to into this picture you will see it look a bit different because this one is 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 outside of this one I do it outside of camera management and you see there I can I have so much to do there maybe I can come and uh, push my yellow here come more push it like that put more color into that come here because this is cinema we have a little bit of an orange yellow not super yellow just like this i think of yeah good very orange into your look and i feel it so this is awesome let me play now a whole video thanks very much for watching this video i hope you caught something you enjoyed the video so yeah keep on doing doing tutorial and i told you i have i have 500 subscription and i promise guys after getting 500 subscription i'm going to do a live sessions and i'm still prepared about the live sessions soon i'm coming with the live sessions uh like a master class with the question and answers so i hope you guys are going to join my my tutorial my live sessions masterclass tutorial 
it's for free guys it's not like the masterclass i used to sell this one is just question and answers yeah see you guys on next tutorial